Now the next important thing is adding a score. So every time I click on the bubble, I should get a score. So the first thing what I want to do is I want to create a new object, insert new object, and I'm going to click on text and select insert. I'm going to click here and in my text object, I'm going to name the text object as score and the properties in here the text is going to be the word score and I'm going to set the font to I'm going to set the font to size I'm going to make it bold I'm going to set the font as Arial make it bold and I'm going to set the size as 26 press OK and I'm going to change the color. You can change the color to your likings. Press OK. The size is big. It's not fitting into the text box. I'm going to just increase the size of the text box. I'm going to move this up here. Now that we have created a text object called score, let's go add some events. So I'm going to go to my event sheet 1. So now I'm going to create another event. And I'm going to create a system event and I'm going to select the general event every tick so for every tick I want the score to happen so I'm going to click on add action and I'm going to select score and press next and I'm going to scroll down and look for set text I'm going to press next and this is a string and if you see text has a string that's double quotes string means it's just group of letters so I'm going to type in the score with colon and then I want to get the value of my score so for every tick I should get a score value and that value I'm storing it in my global variable called score so I'm going to press um, shift and use this and sign in here and then I'm going to type in score variable so as soon as I type S you'll see that I have the list you will see score global variable here just double click on it and press done so now the last thing I want to do is every time I click on the bubble that means every time the bubble is touched actually let me change this we need to spawn before and then destroy later every time we click on the bubble it spawns into different particles and then it is destroyed and then we add a score so I'm going to click on add action and I'm going to go to the system and I'm going to click next and I'm going to add to click next and if you see there's already score up here but if you drop down the list you'll see other variables if you create more and I'm going to set my value as 10 for every tick I need 10 points so I'm going to click done now let's click run and see if our score is working or not so if you see my string score colon and then the value of the score every time I click on the bubble the score shows up on my screen